They taste like blueberry. They are. They're blueberry. I'm allergic flavor. to blueberry. You're not allergic. This video is advertised by Refresh <laughs> Safeway Water. Welcome, everybody, to our. Is it the fourth? I think this fifth? is the fourth or the. It goes like this the fourth, the, the fifth. fifth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Last year we did it here. The year before that we did it at my house. Uh huh. The and year before that we had the dresses. And the year before that we just did nothing. This is our fifth the year. Fifth year. Oh wow. Check that out. What the time flies when you're clinically depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the fifth annual Oscars nomination. Video. Video. We need to call something cooler. Oscar predictions. Fifth annual sister prediction show. Oscar sister prediction show. Midnight movie madness. Oh, I like that. <laughs> if you guys have never seen one of these before, we normally, we just sit here and we predict who's gonna win. One year we did it wild, and I always say we're gonna do it wild again the next year, and we never have. No, no, because it was really wild. It was really wild. It was a great time though. Now we just sit here and we talk about the movies. No, I just rewatched last year's video and I realized I ranted the entire time. This year I'm not going to rant about the movies, okay? I realized I'm not an Oscar critic. You know Ebert and Roper, Siskel and Ebert? No. You don't know who they are? I don't even know what you're saying. Are you joking? You sound like you're speaking Chinese. <laughs> Siskel and Ebert, Ebert and Roper. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, anyways, um, <laughs> We're gonna have to. My dad somewhat considers himself to be a movie critic. He thinks he is a movie critic. Like Clint Eber. <laughs> Are they movie critics? Okay, well that makes more sense. You could have just freaking told me that. Movie My dad critic. thinks he's a movie critic. Um, all, and he did not want to be in the video. We do have his his predictions, and they're in a sealed closed envelope, just like they do with the Oscars. Yes. How many movies? Did you watch this year? Oh, great question, Yvette. Um, out of the movies that are nominated for best motion picture, out of the eight of them, I watched seven of them. Ooh. I did only did not watch Roma, and I had all plans to, and then we ran out of time. We are filming this video a week before the Oscars actually airs. Our schedules are so busy. By our schedules, I mean Yvette's. So we're fil filming the video ahead of time, so I did not have time to watch Roma, but I will watch Roma before the Oscars. Actually. I only watched three. Which movies so. did you watch? Black Panther. A Star is Born and Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, okay. You missed a lot of good And I'm really sad that Cher Sharon is not nominated for anything this year. <laughs> All right, anyways, without further ado. I let's, don't. Let's go. Oh, and as always, as every year, we don't do all the categories because there are, nobody cares about sound mixing. I apologize to all the sound mixers out there. <laughs> I don't. It's a great career. And the nominees for costume design are <clears throat> The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. I hope I said that right. Black Panther. The favorite, spelled with a U. Is that how you spell favorite? No. That's how oh, you yeah, spell the UK, in the UK, right? UK. Okay. okay. Mary Poppins Returns, or Mary, Queen of Scots. That's the one that Cher Sharonin's in. Oh, she, look, she was nominated Cher for Cher Sharonin. Oh, this is a hard category this yeah. year. I don't feel like my marker's not dark mm -hmm. enough. I know yours is good, it's a brand new one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bum, 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 bum. 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 Bum, bum, bum. All right, and the Oscar okay, goes, goes to. Oh, wait, let's, let's do that over again. And, and the, the Oscar, Oscar goes, goes to. to Black yes. Panther. Hey, okay. Dad put back Black Panther as well. Okay, I almost picked Mary Poppins. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah, I picked Black Panther because the costumes in there are super detailed. Yeah, like look at uh, like when he turns into the Black Panther. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah, or even when he has like all those bumps on his body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And the nominees for animated feature film are. Incredibles 2, Isle of Dogs. Just make it up. Mirai? Mirai. Ralph Breaks the Internet, and Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. And, and the, the Oscar, Oscar goes, goes to. Hey! hey! We are never this in sync. I picked The Incredibles because I liked The Incredibles this year. Um, I didn't even watch it, but I heard there was a lot of uh, excitement around the movie. I cannot believe you did not watch The Incredibles. Let's see, Dad picked... Ralph, watch. I love dogs. Um, you know what? He loves dogs. He talked about that movie like five times to me, so I think he genuinely liked that movie a lot. Which one is that one? My dad has a problem. He's seen every single movie here, even the animated feature films. Yeah, yes. So I love dogs will probably win since he picked it. I trust his judgment better than ours. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, he didn't like A Star Is Born. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't say mustard. 
I haven't done that in a while. I like when you went through that phase when you were just barking like a dog at all times. <laughs> and the nominees for actor in a supporting role are Mahershala Ali in The Green Book, Adam Driver in Black Klansman, Sam Elliott, A Star is Born, Richard E. Grant, Can You Ever Forgive Me, and Sam Rockwell in Vice. And the Oscar goes, goes to... to Oh, Sam Rockwell. I don't like that your marker is so much better than mine. Oh, because I feel like everybody that was in Vice was just like on their A game. So I saw all the movies for this one, for this first category. Uh, Mahershala Ali did a great job He's in the movie. He's an amazing actor. He's an amazing actor and the Academy loves him. That's the truth of why I picked him. Dad picked Mahershala Ali. Ooh. All right, I guess I we'll like see. having this tiebreaker with Dad. Yeah, me too. Now we're gonna move on to actress in a supporting role. We're almost halfway through the night. I hope everyone's been enjoying themselves so far. I have, I know, I have. Have you? I have been having a great time. Thanks for asking. I actually just got the exclusive that next year they asked Yvette to host the I am Oscars. I hosting the Oscars so, next year. So, you know, if you go to Vegas and they bet on who's on who's hosting the Oscars, you know who to put your money on. This girl right here. Right there. Please don't go to Vegas and bet on my sister. You're gonna lose a lot of money. You never know. I just think it happen. That is so true. Literally. Literally anything can happen. Sister, my dreams are coming true. Oh my god. I could do I wasn't joking. Oh. Uh, now the nominees for actress in a supporting role. And the nominees are Amy Adams, Vice. Mariana de Tavira, Roma. Regina King, If Beale Street Could Talk. Emma Stone, The Favorite. Rachel Wise, The Favorite. Wow. Oh, wow. We are six sons of a gun. That is for sure. How did you? How did I know you were gonna do? That? I don't know. You're too close. Stop eating snacks. <laughs> and the Oscar goes to. Yes, I love Regina King. Regina King. I picked Regina King because she won the Golden Globe. Um. Well, I partially picked her for that reason, but mostly just because I love Regina King. Yeah, and she can do no wrong. She can't do no wrong. She's a great actress. Can't do no wrong. I will kill you in your sleep. Dad picked Regina King. Yes. Look, when it's your turn to say, and the nominees are, then I read them. When I say, and the nominees blah, 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 are, then you read the nominees. Why do there have to be rules and regulations for everything that we do? I don't know. There should be lists, rules and regulations, and spreadsheets. And the nominees. No, and the nominees. Oh my God. And the nominees for original screenplay are the favorite. I'm not going to say who. That's my wrote it. First Reformed, Green Book, Roma. And vice. And, and the, the Oscar, Oscar goes to. Ooh. Okay, we picked different ones. Um, why did you pick Roma? Because I'm Mexican. <laughs> I picked Vice um, because the movie. So if you haven't seen the movie, it's all about um, Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney. <laughs> the movie's all about Dick Cheney, and like Dick Cheney was a really secretive guy. So like the fact that they wrote an entire movie on his him as the president. I mean, vice president, but we we know the truth. Uh, is 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 incredible. So I think it's a pretty good screenplay. Dad chose Roma. Roma. Wow. Okay. And now for cinematography, the nominees for cinematography are Cold War, The Favorite, Never Look Away, Roma, and A Star Is Born. And, and the Oscar. <laughs> and, and the, the Oscar, Oscar goes, goes to. to Oh, Ooh. A Star is Born. Okay, I did not see Roma, but uh, from the trailers I saw, the colors in it looked beautiful, the shots were beautiful, and that's why I chose Roma. I chose this because um, they were on stage, and all the colors, and yeah, yeah. It was very the well cinematography shot. cinematography was very sh shot, shot very well. I have a quick story before we go on. I watched this movie with Yvette in theaters. Okay, she, she had already, <laughs> yeah, she had already good, seen this movie. Okay? She had already seen it, but she told me I had to go watch this movie. So she took me to the theaters, we sit down and the movie starts playing and everything is blurry. The whole movie, everything is blurry. <laughs> the movie starts with a really wide shot of her in the bathroom, right? So she's in the bathroom and her whole body is completely blurry. And I'm like, this must be a 3D. <laughs> it must be a 3D movie. And we didn't get our glasses. Right? I'm like, and we didn't, but they didn't give us glasses. That's so strange. So I look over to the people to my right, I look over to the people to my left. Nobody's wearing 3D glasses. Nobody said anything that that movie was boring. So I go, it's like two and a half hours. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, maybe I'm losing my vision. When you asked me. And so I'm like, 
is the movie blurry to you? And you're like, yeah, but just be quiet and watch the movie. <laughs> Luckily, the close-ups of her face was not blurry. And then I asked her, was it blurry when you saw it? She's like, no, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> the, the movie ends, I'm in tears, you know, I'm crying, and I go, this is the saddest 3D movie I've ever seen. And I stand by that, I think it's the saddest 3D movie I've ever seen. It was the saddest 3D movie I've ever seen, too. Dad picked oh. for cinematography, Roma. Uh. So he went with me on that one, All he right. went with you on the last one. Okay. okay. And the nominees for original score are... Black Panther. Black Klansman, If Beale Street Could Talk, Isle of Dogs, and Mary Poppins Returns. And the Oscar goes to... Yes, Queen! Black Panther. Yeah, it was It was just... Great movie. The score was phenomenal. It was. Dad picked Black Panther. All right. It's unanimous. And now oh, yes. for original song. The nominees for original song are... All the Stars for Black Panther. I'll Fight for RBG. The Place Where Lost Things Go, Mary Poppins Returns. Shallow, A Star is Born. And When a Cowboy Trades His Spurs for Wings, The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. I'm surprised you said that without messing up. Me too, all. actually. And the Oscar go obviously goes to Shallow, A Star is Born. I, put a little star. I mean, I mean, yeah. I, I, you know. I sing it every day. It's a beautiful song. It topped the charts. Um, phenomenal. Just a phenomenal song. It was number one on Spotify and everywhere. Yeah, like, yeah for a while. Yeah. It was a really good. Amazing song. Dad picked Shallow. Yeah, obviously. And the nominees for directing goes to... Or, uh, nope. 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 The nominees for directing are... Black Klansman, Spike Lee. Mm. The Cold War, Powell... Powell lost... Okay. The Cold War. The Favorite... I also don't know that name. Roma and Vice. And, and the, the Oscar, Oscar goes to... I put Roma, but I put Spike Lee second. Okay. For Black Klansman. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, I feel for me as well. I could have picked either one. Yeah. Uh, let's see who Dad picked to see our tiebreaker on the matter. He picked one of those two. He picked uh, Roma. Okay. So I think either one of those that yeah. win, I will be yeah. happy. Dad told me he didn't really like Roma, but he seemed to pick a lot of them for the... Because he knows what wins. Yeah. You know, when, when Titanic was nominated in 1998, the budget was so big for the movie, it had to win. <laughs> Sorry. The nominees for actor in a leading role are Christian Bale, Vice, Bradley Cooper, A Star is Born, William Defoe, An Eternity Skate. Can I just stop you? And he was nominated last year, and you did the same thing. His name is Willem. Willem Defoe, Rami Malek, Bohemian Rhapsody, and Viggo Mortensen, Green Book. This is the hardest category. Yeah, this is a tough one. And the Oscar goes to Rami Malek. Yeah, no, this he became yeah. Freddie Mercury. Yeah, he really did. And I was between him and Christian Bale because Christian Bale, it's a, unbelievable how much he transformed to be like Dick Cheney. And that to me was crazy. Obviously, Bradley Cooper in this, in A Star is Born, I could die just thinking about it. Thank you. And dad picked Rami Malik from yeah. Bohemian Rhapsody. He just, he was Freddie Mercury. Yeah. You forgot you were watching an actor. Yeah, he, he did a That's great job. He did. he did a great job. We have two categories left for the night. I hope everybody has enjoyed their wonderful night. And that everybody enjoys their Oscar after party. Yes. I'm going to the after party. Me too. The, um, the ABC one. What's the ABC one? You know, the and the nominees for actress okay. in a leading role are Yalitza Aparicio, Roma, Glenn Close, The Wife, Olivia Coleman, and The Favorite, with spell with the U, Lady Gaga, A Star is Born, and Melissa McCarthy in Can You Ever Forgive Me? Mm. I spelled this name wrong. And the Oscar goes Those to... Two. Really, Sister for Robin? I spelled Glenn with only one N and then I realize that now. I, I It goes to Yalitza. Okay. Yeah, I picked Glenn Close. Did not see the movie, I have to say. But she won the Golden Globe. I feel like the Oscars will pick her because she is an older actress who has put her time in. Uh, making films. I don't I don't know if she's the best deserved it. And honestly, I hope Melissa McCarthy wins it. I hope, honestly. Yalitza wins it. He picked Melissa McCarthy. I got to What? I am shocked. My dad hates Melissa McCarthy. We have to ask him about this. Can we call him in for a, a cameo? <laughs> yes. What first question? How do I look? You look fine. Amazing. You have a hat on. 
First question is, do you know who Siskel and Ebert are? Yeah. Okay. Do you know who Ebert and Roper are? Uh, yeah. Okay. Your daughter doesn't. Oh. Okay. And she was making fun of me. She thought it was crazy. Okay. My question is, you hate Melissa McCarthy. Why would you pick her for Best Actress? I don't like her comedies, but she was good in, in, in uh... Can you ever forgive me? As a drama. As a drama. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you like the movie? I love the movie. Oh, okay. good. Okay. Sorry. That was kind of it. That was all the only questions we had. Bye. You saw my pick? Well, yeah, but we haven't seen the best picture, so don't know spoilers. Do you want to sing around for best picture? I'll sit over there. Okay. okay. I guess I can't be silly anymore. Dad's in the room. You can't be what? Silly. What do you mean you can't be silly? You're always silly. You're always silly. Okay. Silly of me to think that I would ever be full of my God. What do you mean you can't be silly? That's just as silly as the rest of you. Hey. All right, and we're on to our final um, number of, of the night. Yes, it's a very exciting time. Yeah. What is that for? Is that 20th Century Fox? Okay, yeah. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> Isn't it 21st Century now? No, it's 21st. Oh, whatever, you guys. The nominees for Best Picture are Black Panther, Black Klansman, Bohemian Rhapsody, The Favorite, Green Book, Roma, A Star is Born, and Vice. This is tough. I normally don't watch all the movies, so it's easy for me to pick one. <laughs> but I watched all the movies. Oh, I feel so bad not picking the movie that it was my favorite. Selena's not on it. <laughs> <laughs> and the, and Oscar the Oscar goes to... to... Ooh, what did you pick? Roma. Uh, I picked Bohemian I Rhapsody. really, really wanted to pick A Star is Born. I know, but we know they're not going to win. I know, but it was just so... And the Oscar really goes to... Green Book! Green Book! Yeah! Okay, so we were a split decision on this one. I think we weren't split decision for many. No, we were pretty much all in unison on all of them, but... I thought Roma might, because of the political stance. Yeah, right now. that's uh -huh. where I'm going with yeah. this. But for me, the best movie? Green Book. Yeah, Green Book was probably my favorite movie. It's a tie between Green Book and Bohemian Rhapsody for my favorite movie. Probably. I mean, for me, Roma and A Star is Born. Really, A Star is Born is. We want to thank you all for attending our Oscar party this year. Uh, I hope you guys let us know what you guys pick in the comments below, and we'll uh, we'll read them, and we'll and we'll see who if you guys are right or wrong. And we'll see you next year for our sixth annual 2020 Oscar party. What did you call it before? Midnight Movie Madness. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. See you guys later. Good night, everybody. Bye. Woo! And live from New York, it's Saturday. Uh, Sunday afternoon. Bye.